guys it's your boy dark green from madanos.com and guess what guys i finally made it to the top 100 right now i'm ranked 90 overall you know as you can see right there i'm gonna show you my stats and man it was an amazing journey you know i've been playing a lot of games and finally made it to the top 100 it's actually my first time guys i never been even been close to the top 100 and look at this guys you know we're 70 and 33 you know i know it's not that's not a good record but you know like i said i've been playing good and i haven't lost any games so let's well watch some of my stats right here as you can see uh you know i haven't uh have a lot of points against so you know my defense is pretty legit and i have a good offense as well so and uh, let's go ahead and look at my, I have a three game winning streak, you know, like I said, in Madden 15, actually, he he likes to eye people with people. So you get to see him, you know, just be careful with him. You know, he like, uh, he uses the Saints as well. So you see somebody playing the Saints, don't even play him, guys. So anyways, you know, it was a good achievement. I finally beat Shocker 360 to the top 100. So let's see if he can get as close as me. So anyways, this is a game actually that, you know, made me go to the top 100. I'm getting, I'm playing against Miami fans. And I'm using the Baltimore Ravens, guys. Ever since the, uh, you know, the roster update, you know, the Baltimore Ravens has been playing pretty good. You know, that defense finally uh, gave, gave them some credit because, you know, uh, back then when I used them in the beginning, you know, they weren't that good. So uh, I think the team is at 86 overall, you know, and they also have a good running back in Justin Forsett. And that's what I really like, you know, because, uh, you know, I was just waiting for, uh, for the Ravens to sign a fast running back. And they finally signed one, you know. Justin Forsett has been playing pretty good. He, have, he averages five yards per carry so you know he's been doing pretty good and i don't want to and uh, you know this game actually reminds me of the game that happened earlier where you look at this play man look at this we, get, we cut it to the outside and right there we get a nice touchdown so we scored first guys anyways earlier you know the baltimore Ravens played the cincinnati Bengals, and man that game really pissed me off joe flacco choked man i don't man i just really i was really upset you know I really thought they were going to beat the Bengals, but now the Bengals are number one in the division. And then since uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers beat uh, the, the Indianapolis Colts, I think now the Steelers are in second place. So uh, we'll see what happens, guys. It's going to be a crazy year, I know. So uh, hopefully uh, the Ravens uh, goes to the playoffs and goes far. And <laughs> hopefully we make it to the Super Bowl this year. Anyways, you know, uh, my opponent has been doing pretty good as well. You know, he he likes to go five wide receivers, and uh, you know that oh, I'm gonna tell you a tip right now. You know, I like to use quarters against the five wide receivers, and I know a lot of people don't really like it because you know uh, they don't uh, they don't cover good or whatever. But what I do is I just contain the defensive ends, and I put the middle linebacker in a yellow zone and just cover the middle of the field. That's pretty much what I do. And uh, you know, like I said, it's a pretty good. It's a pretty good defense against five wide receivers. So, anyways, right here, I'm just a third and thirteen. So, I'll throw a little screen to the left side. Look at this man, Bernard Pierce, spin move, and we're gonna go ahead and go all the way to the touchdown, guys. And I don't know for some reason this game and that day I was on fire, man. I haven't lost any games. You know, it was pretty crazy. I felt really confident, and I'm I'm pretty glad. You know, I finally made it to the top 100. So, like I said, Shocker 360 needs to catch up to me and uh, i think uh, i remember the last video i put i told him if i challenge him and if i beat him first he has to give something away so you know uh we don't we still don't know what it is so we'll probably give uh, some ebooks out so you know the only way you can get those ebooks if you uh, comment here top 100 winner who says that first is going to win the ebooks and i uh, just go ahead and talk to shocker 360 and uh, he'll give you those ebooks so anyways uh 49 guys you know my opponent has been playing group uh, pretty good and, uh, you know, he tried to go for two, man. That's a sign of disrespect right there. So I, I'm not going to let that happen. Fourth down and nine, guys. And I get a lucky catch right there by Dennis Pitta. And, uh, you know, we've been missing, uh, you know, the game that happened this Sunday. Uh, we really missed those tight ends, guys. Owen Daniels and Dennis Pitta, you know, they were out for the game. And, uh, you know, we really needed a tight end. Uh, somebody that bails out. But, you know, th with this game, we didn't have no tight ends. We had a rookie tight end. So hopefully Joe Flacco next game uh, picks uh, the slack. And uh, we're going to play against the Pittsburgh Steelers for the second spot. 
So <laughs> look at this play, man. Right? Look at Bernard Pierce breaking tackle right there. And we get a nice touch. And again by Bernard Pierce. He's a monster right there. Anyways, look at this. We got nice coverage right there. It's the quarters, guys. And like I said, I like to play quarters against the five wide receivers. And we get a nice pick by CJ Mosley. And he's on the floor, man. Who else is going to do that? Actually, CJ Mosley has been playing great this season, man. I, I couldn't believe it. And, uh, you know, he's playing like uh, Ray Lewis, man. Like, I know I can't compare him yet, you know, this rookie season. But like I said, he's been breaking records, man. He's been playing good. He has a lot of tackles. Hopefully, he wins the rookie of the year. I mean, sorry, the defensive rookie of the year. And uh, we'll see what happens. Anyways, 21-9, uh, guys. You know, he's trying to find somebody open. I'm just doing good coverage. And he's trying to do that rocket catch. But, you know, I'm trying to stop it. And he tries it one more time. But it's double coverage right there. And we managed to stop the touchdown. So he's going to go ahead and kick the field. That's all right by me. You know, like I said, I'm up right now. So I have no... No trouble. So, anyways, he runs the ball. You know, I decided to go quarters again, and uh, actually he has a running back in the backfield. So, which is fine. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and let him run. Which is, wait, he's gonna be wasting his own time. So, like I said, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and play my game. And right there, he throws a little screen to the left side. And right there, Haloti Nada stops the run. And Haloti Nada has been amazing this year as well. He's been playing like a beast, man. I don't know what's going on with him. He's uh, been playing with the Baltimore Ravens for a lot of years. Look at this play, man. We might stop him before he gets the first down. And like I said, Haloti Nada is uh, pretty, you know, I look up to him because he's a good defensive tackle. And I actually played defensive tackle in high school. So, you know, I really like how he plays, you know. And, uh, you know, like I said, he's a pretty good player. Anyways, right here, we just run into the middle of the field, and we're just going to go ahead and waste as much time as I can. Like I said, you know, if I win this game, I go ahead and t go to the top of 100, as you can see in the beginning of the video. I'm ranked 190, and I think my next goal, guys, I'm going to go ahead and make it to the top 10, guys. I know I am have the, the like, a good playbook, a good defense, and I know I can make it, guys. So, anyway, let's go ahead and punch it in right there with Bernard Pierce, and we get another touchdown. So, right now, 28-12, guys, and like I said, you know, you, you're having problems in defense or in offense, just go ahead and check it out at MaddenAustin.com. You know, I have the default playbooks, you know, I don't I don't use those custom playbooks, you know, I'm the, you may have every play. But if you don't know how to use those plays, you know, it's not even worth it. So, like I said, I have default playbooks. Uh, just go ahead and uh, check it out. It's the Cleveland Browns uh, playbook and also the Seattle Seahawks playbook as well. So, you know, just in case you need to play a tournament or MUT, guys, uh, just go ahead and check it out. Like I said, they're pretty good playbooks. That's what I use. I haven't changed anything since day one, guys. So, uh, you need to, uh, like a, a defense office, just go ahead and check it out. Anyways, 28-12, guys, you know, he's just trying to get something going on and right there he gets the first down you know i'm just trying for him to, uh, to waste his own time you know he's trying to find somebody open right there and again he's trying to do that rocket catch for his double coverage so he has no chance you know he's trying to find somebody open right there just cover the middle of the field and we get a nice pick by Cheeky brown and let's go ahead and take it to the house guys you know let's hurt him a little bit and right there this this actually should have been the score to uh on sunday man it should have been the score uh, oh man, I was really disappointed. 35 to 12. So, anyways, uh, since he's trying to uh, throw the ball away, you know, it's pretty much it's pretty game. It's pretty much over. So, you know, like I said, he's just trying to throw the ball. And right here, he gets lucky. He throws it to the tight end, and he managed to catch the ball in the uh, one yard line. So, I'm gonna go ahead and give him that uh, quarterback sneak, and he scores. And he tries to go for two again. He breaks the tackle. Come on, man. Andy Dalton really burned the Baltimore Ravens with that little option play. Anyways, uh, we get the ball back right here with Steve Smith Sr. And uh, man, at the end of the, of the game, Steve Smith scores the touchdown, but they call it pass interference. I don't think it was pass interference, but I'm just saying that because I'm a Ravens fan. So, man, we should rate that. If we would have completed that touchdown, that would have been great. So, anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, ground and pound right here. Like I said, I use the same play in MUT. Look at this play, man. We get nice five yards every time. And right here, let's go ahead and punch it in with Bernard Pierce one more time, guys. <laughs> Look at this, man. Pretty easy. And finally, uh, score a touchdown. So, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, share our video, like our video as well. Also, comment. Uh, you have any questions? Comment on the comment section below. Uh, today, guys, it's your boy Dark Raven.